Don't let the law get in the way of loving your neighbor. Loving your neighbor is the most important law. It is the summation of all the law and all the prophets. I would submit to you that our neighbor also includes the Hindu student who sits in a classroom, the Buddhist student who sits in a classroom, and an atheist student who sits in a classroom. And my question to you is, does this bill truly love those students? I'm going to go a different direction than I think you're trying to lead me. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to look like a fool. That's uh, Candy Noble, and she's introduced this bill that would introduce the Ten Commandments into public schools. The Ten Commandments into all public schools. And as you can see, Representative James Talarico, who's a Democrat, was trying to get her to realize how exclusionary and biased and un-American this entire thing is. And I think she was picking up what he was putting down. This is part of that, uh, uh, the Texas Tribune pointed out that the public schools would then have to display these 10 commandments under this bill that will be passed. But uh, uh, Talarico, who's by the way, points, points out that he is also a Christian. He's trying to show her why this is misguided. Let's listen. I think these commandments would help with that, with that classroom management need. I just, I I want to make a comment and thank you for answering my questions. I'll probably have more later. But, and I say this to you as a fellow Christian, Representative Noble, I know you're a devout Christian as, and so am I. This bill to me is not only unconstitutional, it's not only un-American, I think it is also deeply unchristian. And I say that because I believe this bill is idolatrous. I believe it is exclusionary, and I believe it is arrogant. And those three things in my reading of the gospel are diametrically opposed to the teachings of Jesus. My concern is instead of bringing a bill that will feed the hungry, clothe the naked, heal the sick, we're instead mandating that people put up a poster. It's almost like he understands what he believes in and how you can't use that to then change or force other people to believe in the same thing. They call this, uh, Jackson, they call this uh, 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 religious freedom. Whenever you hear a politician talk about religious freedom and it's surrounding giving one particular religion every kind of uh, advantage and authority over all else or people who don't believe in any of them, you're not talking about religious freedom, you're talking about promoting Christianity. Well, you know, again, like you pointed out, the religious freedom to be supreme in your Christian faith. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the religious freedom to, you got to read these Ten Commandments every day. You know what I'm saying? Like there's certain things that, you know, definitely end up getting drilled into your head. I, I grew up in the church. Um, I, there's, you know, it, it's, there's, it's definitely not a black and white thing. There's definitely value to spirituality. But, you know, the thing at the end of the day is that uh, religion is interpretation. And uh, depending on who's preaching it, depending on who's giving the message, you really just listen to what they think about it. So putting, therefore, putting the Ten Commandments or anything else that's religious into a school, you're just putting it into someone's hands to interpret it however they may want to. Um, but ultimately, these aren't important things that kids need to learn to get by to survive in, in the world. So, you know. Now, one of the things that they also said was the person who's in support of this said that this bill would remind students, so the Ten Commandments listed in all these schools, would remind students all across the Texas of the importance of the fundamental foundation of America. <laughs> which, 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 which uh, that's pretty un-American, but you know, it's their America. It's their America. Though. It's whatever, whatever it is that they want. And by the way, there's other foundational uh, uh, aspects of America, and it was enslaving people, but we don't teach that. So it's weird how we teach certain found, found, uh, fundamental foundations of our country and not that one, because you know, that's bad to the folks who want to put up the Ten Commandments in all these schools. Maybe the shootings will go down because someone who wants to shoot up a school will be, oh, there's the Fifth Commandment. That's right. Let me change my mind. <laughs>